hey, man, these are things you never want to say, okay? It's going to make you look weak. You're going to lose your respect. What's good with y'all, man? Six things alpha males never tell women, never say to women. What the overall picture here, guys, is as men, we need to keep respect. When women respect you, everything else is going to fall into place. Okay, but if you say these things, if you tell women these things, when you're interacting with them in conversation, you are going to lose respect. You're going to look weak. Okay, avoid these things at all costs. With that said, bro, follow me on IG, check the links in the description box, some notifications, bro. Let's get into this. All right, we're going to kick this off right with number one. Never talk about other guys when you with your girl. I don't care if this is your girl. I don't care if this is his girl that you snatched. I don't care if this is a potential girl, your bottom bitch. I don't care who this is. The shown from down the street, 304th Street. I don't care who it is. Listen, y'all, you never want to bring up other guys. You yourself never bring up other guys. The only time there's a situation where that happens is if what? If she brings it up. And if she brings it up, right? If it's an ex, if she's talking about a guy's shoes that just walked into the restaurant, I don't give a damn. Okay, it's up to you to got it back. That's what it is. It's up to you to got it back. That's all you need to key in on. Here's my thing. When I'm out with a chick, if it's me and her, it's me and her. Okay. If I'm treating you on this experience with me, we, us two, we in our own universe. Everybody else is irrelevant. They don't fucking matter. So if she bringing up another dude, fuck that dude. It's us. Bitch, focus on what you want to eat or I'm going to order for you. Okay. You need to be focused on what y'all got going on. It's just an interaction with y'all two. Every single time y'all two are together, it's just y'all two. There's no need for other guys to be brought up. And especially you. You don't. You have no business bringing up another guy. I don't care if it's your friend. Like, I'm talking even in conversation, guys. Don't even bring up, oh, yeah, this happened earlier. My friend and blah, blah, blah. Fuck any other guy but you when you're in conversation with this girl. And it's because women are easily distracted. If you ask me, women are easily distracted, like that dog from up, squirrel, they gonna turn left real quick at something that grabs their attention, or it's a sparkly thing on the right, they turn right real quick. Keep the attention focused on you. You were the only male that needs to be in conversation. Yours is the only masculine energy that needs to be talked about here. Okay, discussed in this sphere right here. Just y'all two, that's it. And if you bringing up a dude, you just looking insecure. So. None of that shit, right? None of that shit. Now, if she's talking about an ex, that's a big ass no-no. You need to cut that off right, right then and there. Check her right then. Oh, no, no, no. We ain't talking about no exes here, baby. We ain't talking about no exes, right? Bitch, I'm finna be your next ex. You keep talking about your former ex. You need to leave that shit in the past. You know what I'm saying? Do not bring up other guys in conversation. Never bring up other guys in conversation. Next thing, guys, and this is important. Listen, we talking about conversation here. Now, let's say when you interacted with this chick the first time, you set the tone the first time. First impressions are everything, okay? So, you actually did it correctly, bro. You stepped up like an alpha dog, okay, like a boss. You came up to her like, yeah, yeah, I stepped down on you, chick. I want you. I see what I like. You send a choose a signal. I'm going to grab it. I'm snatching it. What's up? What's up with you, girl? What's your name? You came up with that kind of energy, right? The worst thing you can do. When I'm having conversations with guys, I see this a lot, bro. I'm like, damn. Well, you everything started off good, right? But then conversation later in person got weak and it all starts with text and you know why because it is simple question this simple thing how was your day hear me out fellas hear me out you don't want to ask a chick how her day was if you coming off as an alpha dog i'm gonna tell you why i'm gonna tell you why all right some guys already well, mj i can't even ask her how her day was come on i really care about you don't give a fuck about her day Let's stop the bullshit. She knows you don't give a fuck about her day. Okay, if you came off as an alpha dog, she understands it. That's what she's attracted to. She's attracted to the guy that knows what he wants, says what he wants, is not with the bullshit, not with the small talk. She's trying to be a passenger princess. That's a little new thing circling her. Passenger princess, he, I'm just a passenger princess looking for my king. You be the damn leader, bro. You lead the conversation, okay? Now, if she brings it up, this is where it's okay. She brings it up. She says, how was your day? You answer. How you answering? You keep it short, concise, to the point. 
oh, it was whatever. The, like, don't go into a whole fucking, oh, yeah. And then Randy dropped a wrench on his on his big toe. And I was like, damn, your toe ugly as hell. Like, come on, bro. Let's let's keep shit short, concise. Y'all be trying to talk about random, dumbass small talk and then wonder why she lost interest. Because you sound like a damn female talking about little small shit. Who the fuck cares? She know you ain't supposed to care. So why do you care? She asked how your day was. That's like walking by somebody on the street. Hey, what's up? How you doing, bro? You just supposed to say something real quick. I'm all right. You don't tell them that, oh, yeah, my dog died yesterday. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. You going to bring somebody energy down like that? Come on, bro. Come on. Be better than that. You came up to her as an alpha dog. Conversation. You shouldn't lead with how was your day. That's the whole thing, guys. After you had met her and then the first conversation, you text her and you say, how was your day, babe? How was your day? What you mean? How was what? You ain't supposed to care yet about her day. You got to at least have dropped dick off in her guts at least 60 times before it's OK for you to just randomly ask how her day was. And the only time I've ever done that is with a chick that I've literally done that with. And it's like she's gotten to the point where you just really don't give a fuck about me. Then I'm like, hey, babe, how was your day? And she, Oh, he cares only when it reaches that extent. Because other than that, I'm going to be the guy that's savagely dicking you down. You don't want me to care. You like me because I don't care. Alpha males don't care. So don't ask how her day was because you get caught up in random conversation. Now that translates into something else. And Sharon's pregnant, so I don't give a fuck about Sharon. Do y'all give a fuck about Sharon? I'm the only child in this bitch. Right? That's a bar. Anyways, bro, next thing. Fellas, when you setting up a date, and or listen date what what are you talking about mj date nigga we just meeting these hoes listen bro when you setting up a time a spot to link up at, okay you want to take her out you want to go somewhere you want to bring her along with you for the ride you don't ask her i don't care if you don't got a spot in mind you better figure something out you don't ask her where do you want to go okay where do you want to go i'm gonna say that shit one more time where do you want to go? You never ask a woman this. First off, women don't like to answer questions. Number two, you shouldn't want a woman to try to answer a question because she going to go through about a thousand things in her head plus a thousand more trying to figure out where she want to finesse some money out of your pockets. You know where to go. You're the leader, bro. And you already supposed to be the alpha. So she already view you as the leader. Why are you asking her a question? Think about this, though. Really think about this. You asking the chick, hey, where would you like to go so I can spend money on you? That don't even make no damn sense. Like, listen, bro, like, let's be real here. Does that make any sense, bro? Does that really make any sense? You got it where you want to go. You take her to a spot. Like, like, if you really are just unsure, go to a spot where it has a variety of things. You don't really give a fuck. You get somebody with some wings off the menu. You don't really give a damn. But you know she'd be picky as hell if you give her that question. She's gonna be picky as hell if you give her that question. Go to a place with a lot of variety, pasta, steaks, wings, great appetizers. Go somewhere like that. That's easy, bro, it's easy. All right, and obviously I'm not talking about this is the first time you haven't even clapped yet going to a dinner date, a nice dinner date, Hell no, we ain't talking about that. Okay, like I said, you're bringing her along for the adventure with you. Where you want to go, bro? Where do you want to go? Have something figured out, man. They looking to you to lead, bro. You got you to gotta fulfill your role. Time to fulfill your role, bro. Put on the big boy pants. All right, next thing, bro. And this is actually crucial right here. Piggybacking off of that, these questions that we asking these women. Why y'all why be asking women all these questions? You know how you sound when you you asking a question? I always think of that time where the, the, the what's that? There's the book or some shit where the kid is like, please, some more, sir. I would never beg for some pussy like that. Please, and just a, just a smidge of pussy. Just, just a piece of the gushy stuff right there in the middle between your legs. Just a little bit. I'm not begging for shit, okay? This is the next thing, bro. This is the next point. You never ask, is that okay with you? Is that okay with you? Is it okay if I touch you on your leg? Baby, is it okay if I nicely squeeze and caress your butt cheek? You, you really firmly get a, get a right, give it a firm grip, baby. I know you like that, but let me ask you that to make myself look weak. That make you look weak, bro. That make you seem unsure of yourself. 
But keep in mind, fellas, we talking about alpha. You came out the gate as alpha. When you stepped down on her, alpha. Hey, what's up, baby? What's your name? Girl, what's your name? Mm, I like that. You need to spend time with me. So you came off with that kind of energy, but now you over here. Is that okay with you? Uh, I'd like to spend money on you over here. Is that okay with you? Oh, I know I've already clapped before, but is it okay if I touch your hip in a way that makes it seem like it's sensual? Or Come on, bro. What are we doing here? Stop asking these questions. Is that okay with you? That make it seem like you're asking for permission for something. And what do you, what do you got to do? Right? Did your nuts drop yet? You got to ask for permission? You a grown ass man. You asking for permission to do what? You ain't doing nothing illegal. You ain't doing nothing wrong. What the hell is you asking permission for? To be a man? You got to ask this bitch permission to be a man. All right. Next thing. Next thing. Speaking of that. Guys, we do not apologize. Never say you're sorry. I said this before. Mom said it again. Sorry is a word that needs to be taken out of your vernacular, right? Sorry is not an extension of your vocabulary at all. This is not a part of the verbiage you use. Sorry. That's not what you say. Okay. What are times when guys say sorry? They've done something that they regretted, really got caught doing something that they was like, oh, this might be a little too brash. Ooh, this is a little risky right here. Then you got caught. You gonna say sorry? Hell no. We ain't saying sorry on this side. Or we ain't sorry. Okay, we ain't saying sorry over here. Guys, nothing is worse as a man than you saying exactly what you mean and what you say. Because this is what I'm assuming, right? I'm not just assuming that you just popped up on this video. I'm assuming you really trying to understand what I'm getting to you. So you should already be a man of character, which means you say what you mean, you mean what you say. You stand on that. You stand on your square. 10 toes down. So you said something, right? Let's say you checked her and you need to do this as a man. You have to do this, right? This is where alpha is made. You seen some bullshit, you call it out. And she going to get in her feelings because of the way you said it. Listen, I understand that it is the right. It is the way you say things, but I don't care. You're not going to just say sorry, especially if she's in the wrong. If she in the wrong, you call her out and she's mad at the fact of how it came off and fuck all that. I said what I said. You was in the wrong. That's it. You're not going to apologize for shit. You're not going to apologize for shit. She's going to have to get over that shit. Never apologize, fellas. Never apologize for speaking the truth. Never apologize for speaking the truth. Ever. Ever, dog. This is the last thing. Last but not least. Okay, this is the icing on the cake right here. You stuck around this far, guys. Put dog in the comment section. Because listen, this is a test to make sure you're on your game. Right. This is a test that happens with every chick that you're going to encounter over a longer period of time, especially when you dropping dick off right on their forehead. Right. They love that stuff. They get caught up. They get wrapped up in it. I don't want you falling for that dream that you're selling, though. OK, because when she comes out the gate and says, I love you, what you're not going to do is say that first. OK, you're not going to say that first. OK, nor are you going to beg her to be your girlfriend. That is not happening. You're not initiating the I love you, nor are you initiating. Let's get tied down. Let's get an exclusive relationship. You as a man, especially alpha man, you never doing that. You are never doing that ever, ever. And if you ask me, right, this is the, this is you never even say it the first time back. I never say it back the first time. I never say it back the first time because I want to make sure I'm feeling it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you say. I've been asked that question one time by a guy. Well, she told me she loves me for the first time. And I, what do I say back? You don't got to say a damn thing. You don't got to say a damn thing. All you got to be like is, oh, babe. Wow. I appreciate that. You know, getting to know you, I'm really starting to like you more and more. And, you know, I could see that happening. I could see me getting those kind of feelings for you sooner or later sooner or later bro give it time tell her you you know it takes time for me to catch those kind of feelings and this and that she'll appreciate you even more she'll respect it even more as a matter of fact it's a double play because it's making it seem like it's something she has to earn oh let me make him love me more i need to make him love me just like i love him oh man let me give him this throat 
Oh, baby, baby, please do that. Do that as much as you would like, babe. Do that as much as you would like. Do it more, right? Do it infinitely amount of time. Wake me up with it. Wake me up with it, baby, every single day until I tell you that. Make her earn it, bro. She got to earn it. She got to earn your love, bro. This is something that you have to be sparing with. It's not it, Women can do whatever they want, typically romantically. They can say what they want. They can do what they want. They can use simps all the time. You are different. This is the whole thing I'm trying to get to you guys. You are different. Separate yourself. Well, my love's not that easy to get, nor is it easy to just say that. I'm not even going to say that to you without it being actually a little bit true. Maybe, even if you do love her, don't even say it back. Don't even say it back the first time. Not the first time. Not until you got her hooked. If you got her hooked, maybe. <sighs> Ask me about that later. Not until you got her hooked. And when she hooked on your Johnson, right? Okay. And sooner or later, right? Sooner or later, you're going to have to reciprocate that. At that point, she's already hooked. Okay, then do what you do, bro. Do what you do. Don't fall for the dream, though, bro. Listen, guys, all this is in order to make sure you stay on point. That's all it is. And most of all, guys, maintain respect, okay? Okay.